Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good Monday morning. This is Rusty78609, and I'm just leaving the roofing place. I wanted to double check and be sure that we're getting, well, it's actually called solar white roof, solar white metal roof, but that's part of what we're going to talk about. Now we're going to talk about cars because I'm going to Del Rio, Texas right now. They've got three or four car dealerships there, different brands, whatever, and I'm going to go drive them. And whichever one appeals to me, I might buy it. Might, M-I-G-T-O-M. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're good to go on that. I mean, uh, there's so many. I mean, there's just, they got so many different models. It, it almost is confusing, you know what I mean? And, uh, and what is amazing, the same model, the gas mileage varies like four miles per gallon with the same engine. Does that make sense? Well, the only thing that could throw that off would be the rear axle, <clears throat> but if it's the same engine, anyway, enough said. But yeah, we're going to go do that, and I tell you, man, it is so insane that you cannot get anything, almost anything, but a black interior. Why? Because that's probably the cheapest crap they can come up with. But you know, it's like uh, when Henry Ford started his Model T, you got you had one model. <laughs> you didn't have to worry about you know the color of the interior and stuff. And you know who, who else followed that that mode or whatever you want to call it? Uh, Honda when they first started, you, you went into the dealership and you got what they had on the floor and that's it. And it, they, they didn't haggle over price either. No, no, no. <clears throat> but anyway, one of the things I'm going to check, I know there's road noise in these videos in this car. And uh, what I may do is once I decide on a car, is uh, do a video and see what it sounds like. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Because I really don't like hanging around car dealerships. You know what I mean? I bet I've had... You know, because I went on the website for the past few days checking out prices and stuff. And there were a couple of cases where I had to enter information like my Gmail to get the answer I wanted. And boy, howdy, have I gotten responses by the hundred, man. So aggravating. But you know, that is the old dealership model. I mean, I was part owner of two dealerships in East Texas many years ago. And... Uh, no, it's the same stuff, guys. Same, same. I mean, it, it, it's the same as it was 40 years ago, 50 years ago. No difference. You know, the same same old sharks for salesmen and um, gouge you for every penny they've got and then send you the finance and insurance, man, the F, I, F and I, you know, before you close the deal and they'll try to add undercoating and super gloss this and floor mats and all kind of crap that you don't need <clears throat> and they get a hell of a bonus if they do good there and that's the same old model they're using today man nothing's changed you still got your sharps if you don't believe me pull up on a parking lot and see how long you sit there before you're surrounded no that's got to go man that's got to go in fact normally the past, I don't know, three or four cars I bought, I just did it over the phone and had them deliver it. And I would do the same thing here if, 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 if I knew exactly what I wanted. But I don't know exactly what I want because I don't know that much about these new cars. You know, this car I got now, the Chevy Spark, I mean, hell, it's so basic. Uh, you could order it. You could order it by mail. You know, mail our car. So, but here we go, guys, headed down to Del Rio. We'll see how this goes. And uh, what else can I tell you? I don't know. I'm kind of excited. I mean, I realize <clears throat> there's some downsides to this new plan. But at least it's a plan. At least I'm doing something. You know what I mean? At least I'm moving the air around me. <clears throat> I got a damn peanut caught in my throat. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you guys and eat my peanut. Or my, <clears throat> my almonds. So anyway, let me 
take a breather for a minute. Take a swallow of my tea. <clears throat> you know, I always bear in mind that doing nothing is an option. And right now I'm planning on doing something, you know, like buying this car. But I don't have to. And I know that, and I believe me, I thought about that this morning when I was walking. You know, is the road noise really worth $35,000? Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, there's not many cars you're not going to get. It's amazing. I keep saying that. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I got it. So, but prices have gone up so dramatically and, and you know for me it was sticker shock for a long time but it's like anything else you know you leave a sharp stick in your eye long enough and uh, you won't even know it's there you know and the same way with these cooking the frog prices you know you put the frog in the pot turn the burner up slowly and cook the frog but if you put the frog in hot water it jumps right out and the same way with these prices you know uh, they just kept moving them up and they haven't stopped. Uh, they have not stopped. You know, the prices are prices on cars are very high. Uh, I'm about 50-50 on whether I should buy a, a car or not. This thing, you know, is it, you know, it doesn't have cruise control. That's kind of a deal. Uh, of course, it doesn't have serious satellite radio. Yeah, not a big deal. I don't listen to radio much anyway. But so, you know, could I get by with just what I've got right now? Absolutely. So it's not a question of need so much as want. And, uh, but if I drive one of their cars that's reasonably priced and on a road like I'm on right now where you're getting a little road noise uh, and it's okay, then we'll see. I mean, it's, because you know, it, your road noise will wear on you after a, a, a couple of hours, you know, if, you, if you're on, going on a four or five hour drive, then yeah, it, it, can, it can wear on you, it can. I mean, I'm driving 60 right now, and of course this car has absolutely minimal insulation, because the brand, the new price on this car before they jacked them up was like 12, well, the, the automatic was uh, 13,800 manual was 12,800. But anyway, just wanted to give you a heads up for you guys that have new cars that have been really reliable and quiet and stuff. Well, all I can say is good luck to you. But you know, the gas mileage issue, that's on my mind too, because I don't know what gas prices are going to do. Even though I don't drive the car a lot when I'm at home, so that's something to bear in mind. And uh, there goes old Speed. That's a cute little motorcycle, isn't it? Oh, which reminds me, I went by the, the uh, roofing company, and the guy that owns it, runs it, he's in Mexico getting his teeth fixed. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, because it's real convenient for these people to go into Via Cunha get dental work and prescription drugs and stuff extremely cheap compared to what it is in the USA and the only thing that's separating the two countries is a little river that's about dried up but the prices in Mexico are amazingly low on some things but so we're cruising here guys but I did want to give you a heads up on some of this stuff as far as cars go and you know, of course, the black interior is one issue. Uh, the gas mileage thing, I want to get, you know, 30, I'd like to get 35 miles a gallon in that range. But the, the hybrids, you know, you can get a hybrid, but a hybrid costs three or $4,000 more. And, uh, you know, how long is it going to take you to get that back? I don't know. Depends on how many miles you drive. But I'm just... Uh, yeah, I'm just not used to uh, 
treating myself to things. I mean, I usually don't. I mean, I, you know, could I do this? Sure. Yeah, not a problem. And uh, and then when I sell, or if I sell the Class C and the place in Capitan, you know, I've got I've got a few people that are you know pretty serious. You know, they're they're telling me, yeah, we'll, you know, I'm, I'm cash buyer. So we'll see, cash buyers. I hope you are, because uh, I'm gonna need some of that cash buyer. But on the way to Del Rio, guys, to be eat up by the sales sharks at these dealerships. This is Rusty78609, just giving you a quick heads up, and then tomorrow I'll let you know uh, how it all turned out, if I got a car or not. I can, right now, again, 50-50 at best, you know, because this car, you know, I'm cruising right now, believe it or not, at 65, and uh, that would be what I would drive if I was cruising going on a trip. And this car is not bad, man. It, it's really, it's, it's, it's small, obviously, but that's a plus and a minus. It's small, you know, if you're going to put a lot of stuff in it, you don't have room. Uh, but it's small, you know, you can maneuver, you know, you can turn around on dirt roads, you know, do all kinds of things. But, so, and I may look at some small, uh, you know, just a, a step up from this, but I want to, I do want an SUV type car like this one, you know, I want a door hatchback thing, what do you call it? So with that in mind, guys, I'm going to end this video here in a minute, I'm working on it. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem, carpe diem means seize the day in Latin, carpe diem, seize the day, adios, buy, buy, buy anything you want, uh, use the Amazon link if you feel like it, uh, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, and uh, stand guard at the door of your mind, man, give those neurons something good to work with, you won't regret it, so here we go, guys, the adventure continues, adios, bye-bye.